right, Will's going in on our first door knocker of the day. We'll see if we have any luck. Good morning, everyone. We are out here at our first site of the day. We just talked to the landowners, super nice folks who have given us permission to hunt here. So <laughs> we're gonna get to flipping. Look at this. Hopefully we'll find some snakes today. I got the GoPro on. It's definitely nice to uh, get access to a big property like this at the beginning of the day. Super, super snaky stuff. We're not gonna spend too much time in here because it's sketchy looking, but. A toad. Oh. <laughs> Hello, that's a fowler eye. No, it's a, it's a Southern, it's a Southern. I'm wrong. Toad flip. Oh, a snake just went a hole. Pretty right. Nice. I saw his head suck back when, when we stepped Damn. on the tin. Rolling. Dude, he's nice. Look at that. That is cool. It's like chocolate color. Very nice. Well, that was pretty cool. It looked like this guy was about to come out and bask. But yeah, he sucked his head back under the tin and then we were able to flip him. But first snake of the day, a lot faster than in the last episode. A nice sub-adult gray rat. Very healthy. Very nice looking too. But we'll just put him back. Look at those guys. There's so many rodents. Oh my God. Look at them all. These guys need a snake to come through. Right? Today has just been disrespectful, dude. It really has. Oh, there's another one right here. You're the one walking towards me while I'm bushwhacking over here. I'm doing what's gotta be done. Lawn mowing. This is gonna be just a pile of ants anyways. But it's a pile of ants I wish to investigate. Oh, Diamondback. Oh, dude. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yes. Look at that. Well, there it is. The snake I've been searching for all winter. Not in the place that I was hoping to get one, but down here they're a little easier. We've been busting our butts in prime habitat the last two days, and uh, it's taken a lot of hard work to finally turn one up. But there we go. Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake, and I think I got the flip clip. Hopefully my GoPro was running, but it should have been. What a beautiful snake. Oh my goodness, look at that yellow. The it's a little guy. That right there is the largest and probably the most feared rattlesnake in the world, which is a, kind of kind of a, an undeserved reputation because they are not any more aggressive than any other rattlesnake. In fact, I'd say they're a little bit more laid back than a lot of the rattlesnakes in the U.S., but definitely not as temperamental as their western cousins. These guys have been declining pretty steadily over the last couple hundred years, and uh, they've actually been recently petitioned to be listed federally as a, you know, a threatened species. But as of now, they remain unprotected, unfortunately, and as a result, a lot of people kill them. Just such a beautiful animal and exactly what we were hoping to see on this trip. Look at that rattle go. This guy is understandably very unhappy with us, so we're going to take a couple quick photos and continue on with our day, but what a fantastic find. Will's trip is made, and probably one of the best finds of the year for me so far, honestly. It's been pretty slow, and we're just now starting to get into springtime, and I couldn't be happier about it, so we'll let this guy go and get back to it. Hit our next spot. Yeah. All right, you ready? All right, we're going to take this guy back to his home as effectively as we can. Just keep moving that way, yeah. If you give him a chance, he would... <laughs> Bite me? <laughs> yeah, I'm well aware. That's why I'm not tailing him. There you go. <laughs> Aggressively. <laughs> Look at his nose. Did you see his nose come out? Oh, that little Yeah. Nose. That's funny. Well, uh, I'll figure it out. Oh, man, that's... that's what it's all about right there. Yeah, imagine just seeing that. 
There's so many bees at this spot. I feel like I'm in South Texas. Look at that guy. At least these guys are just honeybees. They were just like, they came flying out when we walked by. It's definitely collapsed a lot since then. Yeah, I'd love a picture of a bar now. I guess I don't have my long lens anyway. Nice. Well, gray rat. All right, guys, we're kind of wrapping up the day here at another site that we've got permission from the generous landowners to access. And uh, we got a nice gray rat, another one. This one's actually a full-grown adult, pretty much. They do get a little bit bigger than that, but he's nice. Definitely the biggest one we've seen this year, I think. So you'll be able to see this better on Will's channel, but we just had like one of the cows at this property has just busted down the fence and is currently approaching us. This is Stephen Fallick's worst nightmare, what's happening right now. Might have to get on the other side of the car. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this, Will. Let's, uh, we can uh, we can take the uh, the gray rat into the car momentarily. Homeboy is actually coming to get us. Sir. Look at, look Maybe at he just wants to graze right here. I hope. I don't like how rambunctious these cows have been, though. We also caught a big rat snake if you'd like to see it. Oh, you did find one? Yeah, it was under that stuff. Come on, girl, get back in the pan. This man is way braver than me. Come on, Will, we're corralling. <laughs> Where does she think she's going? All right, we gotta get on the outside and block her. <laughs> You're cornered. Be gone. I don't know if he respects us much as No, I don't think he does. He knows we're soft. You know that video of, the, of like the little kid getting scared by the chicken? Yeah. You gotta turn and face him. He can sense your fear. That's what I'm experiencing right now. Okay, yeah, there we go. There we go. Head him back in the right direction. Keep moving, Dingleberry. <laughs> I'm gonna go around this side. <laughs> Boo! Go! Alright, well that is our third gray rat snake in the last two days, and our fifth for the year down here in South Georgia. I mean, these guys have been one of the more common snakes we've seen this year so far. And uh, I'm not complaining, they're definitely beautiful. This one's got a good temperament, no musking, no biting. Just a good looking adult gray rat. So, we'll put him back under his sheet of plastic and continue on with our day. Also, I think some guys are actually coming to wrangle this cow now, so we might get a little bit of video of that going down. Right. They're 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 solving the cow problem, <laughs> and then we're gonna let this guy go. Nice. All right, he's going back under there. This is cool though, because you can see this snake was under this, and he probably came out from like this hole underneath the foundation of this building, and that's probably where he spent the winter. But very cool. That's a smile. We got some dogs. <laughs> Smi he's completely smiling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he, I don't know if he's not. He looks like he's too big to get through that fence. Yeah. Dude, I hate fire ants. This guy's coming with us. We got a herping dog out here today. Hey, buddy. You see any king snakes around here? <laughs> Look at that. He won't let me walk. He's like <laughs> pushing into me. <laughs> this dog is awesome. <laughs> he's a friendly one. This dog is with us. <laughs> he's so 
happy. He's cute. He he's looks so like happy. he looks like mean nice. <laughs> like, yeah, he's so <laughs> his face is very personable. All right, guys. Well, we're out in the rain for a little bit to end the day. Here's a weird-looking little spring peeper. They look quite a bit different here in South Georgia, but nevertheless, very common. All right, here's another little oddball frog. I think this is a pine witch tree frog. He's definitely doing like his best spring peeper impersonation with that pattern on the back and the kind of rufous coloration, but not too much activity on the roads tonight, unfortunately, so we might be wrapping up the day here pretty soon. Either way, pretty cool. Good looking little frog. We'll get him out of the road. Here's an incredibly red little southern toad. Nothing to write home about, but he is definitely nicer than the average toad, which we've seen quite a few of today, between flipping and cruising so far. Uh, well, there's the only salamander we've seen tonight, or evidence of a salamander. Nice slimy. I'm not sure what species is here, but I'll double check and uh, make sure he's labeled accurately. But hey, it's nice to just see a salamander on the road. We have been struggling to really find much of anything so far tonight. All right, here's a new species for the year, so that's pretty cool, and it's one of my favorites. This is a Eastern Spadefoot Toad, a juvenile, so he's not particularly colorful, but you can still see those big, goofy eyeballs, and they just really have a big, blocky head that makes them look so derpy and cool looking. But good looking frog, new species for the year, and one of our targets for the night. We were hoping we'd see breeding tonight, but it seems like for whatever reason, these guys just aren't super active tonight like they were two years ago today, when Will and I got into a really good breeding congregation of this species, so. Nevertheless, probably the highlight of the night so far. Really weird looking frog. He almost looks like he has a tail right there, <laughs> like the little bump. I don't know what that is, but they're just such an awkwardly shaped, oh, you can see the spade, that's a cool okay. shot. So that's what they're named after. That's probably the best look we've ever gotten at one since this thing is being so weird right now, but. Very cool. That's what they use to dig and where they get their name, the spadefoot toad. It's actually sharp to Yeah, the they're touch. really hard and shockingly like so for an amphibian. Keratinized almost. Yeah. Alright everybody, well it is raining pretty hard, but the amphibians, for whatever reason, I think we're just kind of in a bad area for amphibians. We haven't seen much evidence of, of movement of like the species that we would want to see, like tigers and really any kind of salamanders down here. So I think we're gonna call it a day at that. It's been a long and very successful day, but with a lot of ups and downs, we hit a lot of really great flip spots and didn't produce anything. And, you know, that's just how it goes sometimes, so. Did you have a good day, Will? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I had a very good day, but it was a grind. <laughs> <laughs> a grind is a good way to summarize yeah. it, so. That being said, we're going to call it a day, get up again in the morning, and I'm going to try to make that another episode. But if tomorrow ends up being a complete flop, well you won't see any of it. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.